Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to West London Eid Festival. A huge welcome today to Osterley Park. Okay, ladies and gents, we have a very, another announcement. I'm Seema Malhotra, the Member of Parliament for Feltham and Heston, and I want to start by saying just a huge congratulations to all the organisers for putting today's festival on. It is extraordinary to have seen the vision that they had come to life. This is the park I came to. It's very special to me that you are all here today and wish you all a wonderful celebration. Hi guys, this is Salman Malik and I'm really excited today. I am hosting the Best London Eve Festival. Amazing festival. We've got people from all across London coming here. We've got amazing stalls, there's shopping, there's food, there's bouncy castle. We've got Kirat competition on stage. Alhamdulillah having a great time. And I'm just really excited. Everybody's happy. We've got some great food. I queued up. I had some biryani, I had some chaat, I had some samosa. I had everything. So you guys, let's check it out and we're going to have a great time today, inshallah. Rich Prophet! Rich Prophet Yunus! We need to feed ourselves, you. Yeah? Okay, so shall we play musical stuff? So this is obviously, this Eid is all about sacrifice, you know, and one of the sacrifices, that's a sacrifice, uh, you can sacrifice your tablet, who's got a tablet? Who's got an iPhone? You have an iPhone? Better, I have to do two jobs to buy one. Aj, how old are you? You're six and you have an iPhone. So we want to win those gift cards. Guys, make sure if you win, do not give it to me money. My mom still doesn't give it to me. Alright, how are we doing? Yes, we've got also a friendly event here. Let's go. Lord, 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 Lord,
Ready. So I'm working here today and um, I really enjoyed the event. It was a lot of fun coming here and looking out for our food and activities today. And I had a lot of fun with our food. G. Today's event is very interesting. I think it should happen every year. Once in a year or fourth or participant more. Or if it's good, it's good. But it's good. It's good. It's good. Amani, thank you. Ready? Zor se bolna hai, lekin thoda. Bole. Very nice. Aaj ka event hai. Inhone bahut acha organize kiya hai. Bachon ki bhi activities hai. Auto ke liye bhi. Aur even sabhi community ki jo zarurat hai, wo kisi ke jaise hai. Yahan pe jab hai, price bhi unki bahut reasonable hai. Aur bachon ke liye sabse zyada. Yes, how did you find the event today? How was it for you? Do you think this this should happen again or yes, yes. yeah? And do you wanna say any message to like Eid Mubarak to everyone? soon inshallah we have an amazing uh, activities going on stage uh, and you guys are welcome to go around check out these amazing stalls I am really hungry so I'm probably gonna catch myself some kebab and I'll see you guys very shortly thank you very much Jazakallah <laughs> That's more like it guys. Welcome to West London Eid Festival. Everybody please put your hands together for the festival guys. Come on Talia. It's really nice to be here, right? Yeah, look at that. Halal food, free bouncy castle. You know what else could you ask for? Guys, can you please put your hands together for all the organizers of the West, uh, West London Eid Festival, right? For putting this amazing event together. Quarter past one is going to be Azan for Zohar. Allahu Akbar. I'm your host and we have some amazing activities happening here on stage and everybody on this side are you guys having a good time queuing up for the food yeah one auntie say no no there's always some right look at those guys at the back the late comers you know you know they're properly cooking the food for you guys so guys we have an amazing event going on today we have ice cream we have a free bouncy castle I can't wait to join them myself and we have a Quran competition going on on stage. Now this is a Kirat competition. It's all about how they recite the Holy Quran, especially in the Arabic language. So we have many kids of different ages who will be performing here, as well as uh, we have kids from the Unique Academy. It's a newly opened Islamic school in Hounslow. Uh, so we are really grateful. Can you please put your hands together for kids between the age and three and five? Big round of applause. Kids, can you come forward? Just one, two, one, two. Okay, ladies and gents, we have a very another announcement for Mr. Patel. Mr. Patel has lost his wife. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Patel has lost his wife, and the mes the message is he's not looking for you. Please stay away for two three hours and come back, and inshallah everything is going to be fine. So, Mrs. Patel's wife, please stay away from him for three hours. Thank you. Deputy Mayor um, Adesh to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. I hope everybody had a good. It is a pleasure to be here today at the first West London Eid Festival. I am proud to be the deputy mayor of such a diverse borough and I hope that you all enjoy yourself. Thanks to all my councillor fellow. I like that. There's always the uncle. One, two, three. Which are... One more. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Kids, Adam. Salam alaikum. What's your name? What's your name? Abdullah, how old are you? Five. Come on guys, round post Abdullah is five. Look at the confidence. Amazing. What's your name? Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman, how old are you? Five. Five as well, mashallah. And what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. Hassan, how old are you? 
555 five, five, five. Zabadas, mashallah, right. So obviously in order to see who's doing the best mashallah, I'm sure they all are gonna recite it the best way possible. But can we once again uh, invite the Sheikh Ammar from uh, Hounds Lobos. Sheikh Sab Kilbos are Italian. Give him a round of applause guys. He's got a scorecard, you know, wow. This is amazing. Huh? And we also have Mari, little Mariam. Mariam, please join us. Mariam's got Mariam is a staff here. Hello, Mariam. Thank you. Asalaamu Alaikum. Are you okay? Okay, Mariam. Would you join them? Sheikh, how are you? Uh, please take a seat. Yes. I'll give you an imaginary table as well, you know. Lovely. Okay. This is my first time, right? Okay. Hounslow's got talent. Lovely. This is great. Perfect. Okay. Where are all the parents? Parents? All the parents, just generally all the parents, mums and dads, give me a cheer. Are you guys happy to be out of lockdown? You don't look happy, eh? you want to go back to, you know, do all the homeschooling and everything, right? Co yeah. Complete nightmare for me, but it's nice that we are out of lockdown. Okay, shit. so how do we do this? Uh, yeah, I think it's on. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Inshallah, we will uh, commence the... Uh, the Qiraat competition where our beautiful young children that are lined up next to the stage and one by one uh, they will come up however um, our brother here the host if you could just confirm the names of these uh, so we have Abdullah to start yep. uh, Abdurrahman we have Hassan and we have Mariam okay perfect let us start with Muhammad Abdullah so each child will have one minute to recite whatever they have chosen to recite on the stage uh, and one in one minute we will be assessing their Quran what do I mean by that is that we will be focusing on their yeah that's more like it perfect this is great oh, oh wow hello this guy is more than ready now <laughs> okay <laughs> Jazakallah guys, the round was absolutely amazing, you know, wow. Do you want to say a takbir? Host? Takbir! Mashallah. Come on guys, a bit louder. Takbir! <laughs> mashallah, you know, my kids are watching Coco Melon all day long, but look at this, mashallah, this is amazing, you know. I mean, come on guys, round pose for him once again, guys. This is, it takes a lot of confidence to come on stage, you know. Although I quite like Coco Melon as well, you know, which is nice. Come on guys, round pose for Hassan. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka na'astahim Istina sirat al-mustaqim Sirat al-lazina alam ta'aylim Mashallah, Jazakallah, absolutely amazing. Takbir! Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim La uqsibu mihad al-balad 
What's amazing is that these kids are as young as five and they're reciting in a language which they don't speak in the Arabic language. Makes it, makes it even more special. So big round of applause for all the kids you guys saw today, guys. Absolutely amazing. What's your name? Nareis. Oh, Mama Nareis. Oh, wow, perfect. Where are you from, bro? Where are you from? Pakistan. Pakistan. Lovely. Any Pakistanis here? I thought I'm on death. How are you? Absolutely. Take it away. Allah, la ilaha illa hu al hayyu al qayyum. La ta khuzhu sinatum wa la nawm. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard. Man zalla zi yashfahu indahu illa bi yazni. Ya lamu ma bayna idihim wa ma khafahum. La yahituna. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Beta. It's amazing. And I think it's really nice to see that we have people from different backgrounds, different communities. So we know where the park is. Do we have any Indians in the house? Make some noise. We'll beat you in cricket next month, inshallah. Don't worry. Do we have any English people in the house? Make some noise. English? That auntie from Sialkot is like, I'm English, you know. I got three year visa, but it's okay. This is really nice to see, you know, it's mashallah very multicultural, you know, people from different backgrounds are here. Yes, Ibrahim. <laughs> والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء العحوى سنقرغ فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى إن 
إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة غير وابقى إن هذا لك الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى صدق الله العظيم Absolutely amazing guys big round applause takbir very nice i like the ah uh, you know the the action was there beta thank you very much thank you a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Jazakallah guys, absolutely amazing. Takbir! Thank you very much. We have Elias. Come on, round applause for Elias, guys. Thank you, dear. Okay, Mashallah, absolutely amazing. Takbir. I have two Nando's voucher too. Who like Nando's by the way? It's not halal, I'm joking. Very halal. So I have who I have two Nando's voucher to give away. And I'm gonna ask a quiz. It's a question everybody can get involved, right? So anybody can answer the question, but I'll pick who's gonna answer. Are you guys ready? Or after this next one, I'm gonna ask you a question for a meal at Nando's. I'm not sure about it. Guys, round row, Aisha Mughal. Who's that, who's that man waving at you? Who's this guy? My dad. That's your dad. Oh, look at him, you know, with his Primark shirt here. Yeah, very nice. Okay. That's nice. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahi rahman rahim Tabbat shada habil habil watab Ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab Siyaslo norab that lahab Wamra atuhu hamma latal hatab Fi jidiha hibalum min masad Mashallah, Zabadas, Takbir. 
Big round. You will inshallah win a return ticket from Thomas Cook Airline for this one. Kids are excited but parents know what I'm talking about. Okay, so first question which is to win Thomas Cook a return ticket from uh, Spain is how old am I? You have to guess my age. Better Ram say, calm down. He said 45, calm down, better. Okay, take it easy, huh? be nice, huh? Okay, so you have to guess my age and if you, if you know the answer, you have to put your hand up and shout out. Why is this uncle recording me here? Okay, he's my friend. I'll give you Instagram pose. Wagwan, Wagwan. Okay, very good. 36. Huh? 36. 36 is the right answer. Round close for the guy from uh, Deliveroo Uber Eats. We can't figure out. We have Aisha Hamani. Guys, round close for Aisha Hamani. She'll be reciting the Quran for us. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wa shamsi wa duhaha Wa qamari idha talaha Wa nahari idha jallaha Wa layli idha yakshaha وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَهَاهَا وَنَفْسِ وَمَا سَوَاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَعَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ قَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا كذبت تموت بتغواها إذ بات أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وصياها فكذبوه فأقروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يقاف أقباها ما شاء الله ما شاء الله جزاك الله أبسلي أميزين جاي تكبير بيك راند بلوز فا عيشة جاي تانكيو سو شيخ سورة شمس what would you like to tell us about this special سورة well سورة شمس is beautiful as you know it's regarding الله سبحانه وتعالى speaking about the sun Speaking about the night, it's more to do with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in terms of his creation. Regarding the earth, the night, the sun, and also the moon. Right? The movement of the moon and the sun in Surah Shams. If anyone wants to study Surah Shams, it's very good especially to know astronomy, to know science itself. Um, so that's what it is regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking about his creation of the moon, the sun, and also the earth. MashaAllah. So to do with planets and stars. That's it. There we go, guys. So if you like your astronomy. Next up, we have uh, Saad. Saad. Oh. Round applause for Saad, guys. Hello, Saad. How are you? Which surah are you going to recite for us? Surah Qadr, mashallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil Qadr. Wa ma adraka ma laylatil Qadr. Laylatil Qadr khairun min alfi shah. تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر جزاك الله thank you very much تكبير ساد next up we have Abdullah Bora guys round applause for Abdullah محمد Abdullah السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. والضحى والليل إذا سعى. 
خدا ما ودعك ربك وما كلا ولا الآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولا سوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآبا وجدك ضالا فهدا وجدك آئلا فغنى أما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فهدا Jazakallah guys, absolutely amazing. Takbir! It was for the little Umar. Umar Noor. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Lam yakun alladheena qafaroo min ahli al-qitabi wal mushriqeena mum faqqayna hatta tatiyahunu al-bayna. رسول من الله يهدي صفا مطهرا فيها قطب قيمة وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم بينة وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين خلفاء أو يقيد الصلاة ويقت الزقاء وذلك دين القيمة إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشرقين في نار جهنم خالدين فيها أولئك هم شر البعيرة إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك هم خير الضعية جزاءهم عند ربهم جنات أدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا أن لا يقلهم قصي ربه Jazakallah, guys, absolutely amazing. Big round of applause for the little one. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Saba here from ECB, the English Cricket Board, and she's going to tell us all the amazing work they've been doing. So please put your hands together for Saba, guys. Hi, Sanika. It's great to see so many people here today. My name's Saba, um, as the brother kindly points out, from the England and Wales Cricket Board. Um, for us, we've got cricket right over there, so if you haven't been already, please do come along, give it a go. Um, it's so important to get diverse communities involved in cricket. Everyone has a safe space, everyone has a point that they can get involved, practice their bowling action, as we're seeing right here. Great overarm there, great overarm action. Um, and yeah, look, I'm here pretty much the rest of, well, up until 3 o'clock, so another 20 minutes or so. If anyone has any questions, please do let me know. Um, but we've got Dynamo's Cricket, which is specifically for 8 to 11 year olds. We've also got All Stars, which is 5 to 11 year olds, but we've got something called Park Champions. That's all about getting diverse communities active through cricket and fitness. So it brings a new blend to things. It gives you something else to engage with, a new layer in cricket. Um, so yeah, again, another way to get involved. You don't need to necessarily do anything. It's absolutely free. There's no cost involved. Uh, you get all the kit, you get all the training. And if you wanted to go on and become a coach or do anything like that, we can sponsor that as well. Um, so please do come and have a chat to me if you'd like to get involved. We'd absolutely love to work with you. Um, and it's just an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you. Now, what's happening over there? Uh, can, can anybody give, give it a go and play cricket? Absolutely, anyone can give it a go. Um, so that's Dynamos. Uh, that's for our 8 to 11 year old category. But absolutely anyone today that is here that doesn't fall into that age range, please do come and give it a go. Pick up a battle and bat and a ball. Give it a go if you haven't played cricket already. Um, I know us Asians, we love cricket. So yes, absolutely. Come along. Thank you, and it's really nice that, you know, uh, what's your thoughts about uh, cricket being included in the Commonwealth Games, especially women's cricket? It's absolutely amazing. It's a groundbreaking thing for us. It's the first time it's ever happened. It's huge. Um, and it's a great way to get more girls into the game. Yes. Which uh, is, again, it's something that's lacking and another reason why I'm keen to kind of push this forward as much as possible. Thank you, Saba. You know, wish you guys best. As soon as I leave the stage, I'm going to come and do some of my fast bowling, if I can still do it. Uh, yes, please what? do. Please well, she, do. Does, she doesn't believe me now. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Well, thank you. And how can they, uh, how, where can they register? How can they get involved? So, ecb.co.uk forward slash dream big. Um, all one word. Type it in, register your interest, and we'll get in touch with you. Or, like I said, I'm here till three o'clock. If you want to come and have a chat to me, please do. We've got women and girl only specific things as well. So. Thank you very much, Sabah. The wind is thank blowing you. on this side. I can definitely do some fast bowling now. Garmi lag rahi si pehla, but thank you guys. Round applause for Sabah from ECB. Okay, thank you. Is there any jobs in ECB? I can apply. You know how it's like. By the way, I work down the road for Sky, right? You guys know this Sky over there? I work there on minimum wage, you know, yeah. They're not really good. So before you ask me for a discount, please. Little Amani, guys. Round applause for Amani, guys. Come on, big round applause for Amani here. Hello, MashaAllah guys, Takbir! Absolutely amazing, Amani, that's really good, you know, that's perfect. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Thank you very much guys, big round of applause for Amani, right? Mashallah. Thank you, Mashaallah is already out. Okay, Muhammad. Oh, there we go. إذا جاءك المنافقون قالوا نشهد إنك لرسول الله والله يعلم إنك والله يعلم إنك لرسوله والله يشهد إن المنافقين لكاذبون اتخذوا ايمانهم جنه فصدوا عن سبيل الله انهم ساء ما كانوا يعملون ذلك بانهم امنوا ثم كفروا فتبع على قلوبهم فهم لا يفقهون وإذا رأيتهم تعجبك أجسامهم وإن يقولوا تسمع لقولهم كأنه خشب مسندة يحسبون كل صيحة عليهم هم العدو فاحذرهم قاتلهم الله أنا يؤفكون وإذا قيل لهم تعالوا يستغفر لكم رسول الله لو رؤوسهم ورأيتهم يسدون وهم مستكبرون سواء عليهم ما استغفرت لهم أم لم تستغفر لهم لن يغفر الله لهم إن الله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين يا هم الذين يقولون لا تنفقوا على من عند رسول الله حتى ينفذوا ولله خزائن السماوات والأرض ولكن المنافقين لا يفقهون يقولون لئن رجعنا إلى المدينة ليخرجن الأعز منها العزل ولله العزة ولرسوله وللمؤمنين ولكن المنافقين لا يفقهون. ما شاء الله ما شاء الله. ما شاء الله. Absolutely amazing. Okay, wow, we have a volunteer here. جزاك الله خير تكبير. For these two, thank you very much. Okay. Rao Mughal.
सारे मुगल आ रहे हैं माशाल्लाह द रॉयल हाईनेस थैंक यू सर एंड माशाला أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا السماء فترت وإذا الكواكب تترت وإذا البحار فجرت وإذا القبور بعثرت علمت نفس ما قدمت وأخرت يا أيها الإنسان ما غرخ بربك الكريم الذي خلقك فسواك فعدلك بأي صورة ما شاء ركبك كلا بل تكذبون بالدين وإن عليكم لحافظين كرام كاتبين يعلمون ما تفعلون إن الأبرار لفي نعيم وإن الفجار لفي جحيم يسلونها يوم الدين وما هم عنها بقائبين وما أدراك ما يوم الدين ثم ما أدراك ما يوم الدين يوم لا تملك نفس لنفس شيئا والأمر يوم إذا لله قلدر Mashallah. Mashallah, absolutely amazing. Takbir, guys. Allahu Akbar. We have Anaya. Big round of applause for Anaya, guys. Yes, Anaya. Which surah are you going to recite for? I think this is Anaya Mughal. Anaya Mughal? So many Mughals here today. Mughals and Sheikhs. Yeah. Surah Ikhlaq. Ikhlaq, Mashallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. كل كل أعوذ ب كل هو الله أحد الله سمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد ما شاء الله تكبير guys big تكبير come on تكبير Mashallah. Next up, we have Safa, guys. Big round of applause for Safa. Yes, Safa. So, which surah are you going to recite for us? Surah Naba. Mashallah. Please come forward. Take the word. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Amma yatasa'alun أن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ألم نجعل الأرض مهادا والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله قائد تكبير جزاك الله Thank you very much Thank you Yes Sarah please Come on guys round applause for Sarah السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعم 
فَاعْبُدُوا وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ أَهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمَ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ آمِنْ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يَقُلْ لَهُ كُفٌّ أَحَدٌ Jazakallah guys, takbir. Thank you very much. Who's next? Hudayfa Sheikh. Muhammad Hudayfa Sheikh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Qariya tu mal-Qariya, wa ma adra ka mal-Qariya. Yom ikun al-nas qal farash al-mabsus, wa takun al-jabal kal ihna al-manfush. Fa amma ma saqulat mawadinhu, fa huwa fi ishat al-radiya. وما من خفت موازينه فأم حامية وما أضراك ما هي نار حامية جزاك الله خير thank you محمد حزيف شيخ جزاك الله خير guys تكبير can we have the next child please who's next زكريا ما شاء الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا وقعت الواقع ليس لوقعتها كاذبة خافدة رافية إذا رجت الأرض رجا وبست الجبال بسا فكانت هباء منبفا وكنتم أزواجا ثلاثة فأصحاب الميمنة ما أصحاب الميمنة وأصحاب المشأمة ما أصحاب المشأمة والسابقون السابقون أولئك المقربون في جنات النعيم فلة من الأولين وقليل من الآخرين على سرور موضونة متكئين عليها متقابلين يطوف عليهم ولدان مخلدون بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون وفاكهة مما يتحيرون ولحم طير مما يشتعون وغور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ والمكب مكرون جزاء بما كانوا يعلمون لا يسمعون فيها لوا ولا تأثيما إلا كيلا سلاما سلاما فأصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في سدر مخطوط وطلح منضوط وذل ممدود وماء مسكوب وفاكهة كثيرة لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة وفرش مرفوعة إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء فجعلناهن أبكارا قربا أترابا لأصحاب اليمين فلة من الأولين وفلة من الآخرين وأصحاب الشمال ما أصحاب الشمال في سموم وحميم وذل يحموم لا بارد ولا كريم إنهم كانوا قبل ذلك مترفين وكانوا يسرون على الهنف العظيم وكانوا يقولون إذا متنا وكنا ترابا وإظاما إنا لمبعوثون أو آباؤنا الأولون قل إن الأولين والآخرين لمجموعون إلى ميقات يوم معلوم ثم إنكم أيها الضالون المكذبون لآكلون من شجر من زقوم فمالئون منها البطون فشاربون عليه من الحميم فشاربون شرب الهيم 
هذا نزلهم يوم الدين نحن خلقناكم فلولا تصدقون I spoke, mashallah. Jazakum Allah khair. Thank you. Beautifully recited. Mashallah. Beautiful pronunciation as well. Jazakallah guys. Takbir. Absolutely amazing, you know. Uh, Muhammad Rehan. Which surah are you going to recite? Mashallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا أنك وزرك الذي أنك ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع الأسر يسرى إن مع الأسر يسرى فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب Mashallah, thank you. Mashallah, okay, takbir. Who's next, guys? Who's next? Loving the swagger, yes, yes, bro, yes. Muhammad Zakaria, we have next, guys. How old are you? Ten. Ten, perfect. Which school do you go to? Which school? Hounslow Heath. Hounslow Heath. Do you have any anybody else here from Hounslow Heath? Yeah, she goes to Hounslow Heath. Which which class? Which class? Me, year four. No, yeah, um, I'm going into year six. Year six? Oh, wow. wow that's good. Perfect. Okay, which surah are you going to read for us today? Surah Humazam. Absolutely amazing guys, Takbir! Lovely, perfect. We, whenever I see on my left side, I have more kids than ever. Where are these kids coming from? Yes. Next up, who do we have? Mash yes, brother. What's your name? Aman. Full name. Aman Wara. Okay, Aman. Which surah are you going to read for us? Okay, we have one minute. We'll just uh, Actually, after this, yeah, please take it away. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتوى رأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا صدق الله العظيم Inshallah, beautiful Ismail. Ismail, which surah is it you have for us? Surah Muzammil, mashallah, that's different. Come on, take it away. A'udhu billahi bina shaytani rajeem Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Ya ayyuhal muzammilu kumil layla illa qalila Nisfahu aw yanqus minhu qalila أو زد عليه ورتل ورتل القرآن تبطيلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا إن نشأة الليل هي أشد وطأ وأقوى مقيلا إن لك في النهار سبحا طويلا واذكر اسم ربك وتبتل إليه تبتيلا رب المشرق والمغرب لا إله إلا هو فاتخذه وكيلا واصبر على ما يقولون وهجرهم هجرا جميلا وذرني والمكذبين أولي النعمة ومهلهم قيلا إنا لدينا أكالا وجحيما وطعاما ذا قصة وعذابا أليما 
يوم ترجف الأرض والجبال فكانت الجبال جحيما كثيبا مهيلا السماء فطير به كان وعده مفعولا إن هذا إن هذه تذكرة فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربه سبيلا صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله خير تكبير أصلي أميزين محمد علي ويتسرا همزة همزة ما شاء الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أحلده كلا لينبذن في الهتمة التي تطلق على الأفئدة نار الله المؤصدة نار الله المؤصدة التي مؤصدة التي تطلق على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة هي مد ممددة جزاك الله خير جزاك الله خير تكبير بارفك we have three more four more kids how many more you said the half an hour ago we have four more come on آجا بيتا آجا even شيخ is like شيخ are you hungry are you sure you're not hungry मिन्नू के पोख लग रही है मेरी आंखें अच्छा बेटा व्हाट्स योर नेम मुश्ताक सिद्दीकी मुश्ताक सिद्दीकी आ लाइक दर वेर यू फ्रॉम वेर इज़ द फैमिली फ्रॉम ओरिजिनली वेर आर दे फ्रॉम फैमिली इज़ फ्रॉम इंडिया आई एम फ्रॉम हियर ओह यू आर फ्रॉम हियर या दैट्स सेड आ लाइक दर या या फैमिली इज़ फ्रॉम इंडिया आई एम मैन I've tried. You've tried, guys. If you haven't tried, you should try the Hyderabadi biryani. You know, it's uh, it's super spicy, but it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so which surah are you gonna recite for us today? Tawaf. Mashallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يصبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض له الملك وله الحمد وهو لا كل شيء قدير هو الذي خلق قفمكم كافر ومكم مؤمن والله بما تعملون خبير بصير خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق وصوركم فأحسن صوركم وإليه المسير يعلم ما في السماوات والأرض بالحق وصوركم يعلم ما في السماوات والأرض ويعلم ما تصرون وما تعلنون والله, والله عليم بذات الصدور ألم يأتكم نبأ الذين كفروا كفروا من قبل فذاقوا وبال أمرهم ولهم عذاب أليم ذلك بأنه كانت تأتيهم رسلهم بالبينات فقال أبشر يحذوننا فكفروا وتولوا واستغنى الله والله غني حميد زعم الذين كفروا وكفروا أن لن يبعثوا قل بلى وربي لتبعثن ثم لتنبعن بما عملتم وذلك على الله يسير فآمنوا بالله ورسوله فآمنوا بالله ورسوله فآمنوا بالله ورسوله والنور الذي أعطى والنور الذي أنزلنا الله غني الله بما تعملون خبير أسفك ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير جزاك الله خير تكبير أبسلي أميزي 
आ जाए बेटा आ जाए यहाँ मोहम्मद हंजल ये अथॉरिटी से रुपंजल लोवर देर बट ये ओके Yes, uh, inshallah, in a minute, you're going to come. I like, the, I like the excitement. He was on stage early. He was actually the second on stage lots of hours ago. So which surah are you going to recite for us? Sasad Qadr. Qadr, mashallah. Nice and sweet and simple, huh? Okay. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim إِذَا زَلْزَلَ وَإِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالرُّوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله نايس سوليد وايز ها فيري نايس تكبير جايز ابسولي اميزنج راوند فلوز ني برادر عبد الله عبد الله هماني يس عبد الله هاو اولد ار يو 10 ار يو هافينج ا جود تايم يا اوكي بيرفكت ويت سورا از ات سيريس مان ها اوكي يا حشر حشر ما شاء الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كمثل الشيطان إذ قال للإنسان كفر فلما كفر قال إني بريء منك إني أخاف الله رب العالمين فكان عاقبتهما أنهما في النار خالدين فيها وذلك جزاء الظالمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسدون لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون والله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة ورحمن الرحيم والله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيم العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون والله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم Jazakallah guys, Takbir, absolutely amazing guys. Round of for a young boy. And we have the last two left. And then we'll be announcing the winners uh, for all three age groups. Today you guys have seen uh, kids between the age of 3 to 5, 5 to 7 and 8 to 11. Yes brother, what's your name? Abdul Hakim. Abdul Hakim. Mashallah. Which surah is it you? Oh, the watch. Mashallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء ذات البروج واليوم الموعود وشاهد ومشهود قتل أصحاب الأسود النار ذات الوقود إذ هم عليها قعود وما نقموا منهم إلا أن يؤمنوا بالله العزيز الحميد الذي له ملك السماوات والأرض والله على كل شيء شهيد إن الذين 
الذين ختن المؤمنين والمؤمنات ثم لم يتوبوا ثم لم يتوبوا فلهم عذاب جهنم ولهم عذاب الخليق إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ذلك الفوز الخبير إن قد شربك لشديد إنه هو يبدي ويعيد وهو الغفور الودود للأوش المجيد فعال لما يعيد هل تاك هديث الجنود في الأون والثمود وللذين حفروا في تقليب والله من ورائهم مهيد والهو قرآن مجيد في لوه محفوظ ما شاء الله وزن حكيم Abdul Hakim, yes. Abdul Hakim, mashallah, absolutely amazing. Okay, so we have the last kid for the Kira competition, but all the kids in the house, in the house, yeah, well, in the park, listening right now, we have an Islamic quiz. I know you guys like being competitive. I'm going to be testing your knowledge. So that quiz is going to come, and inshallah, somebody is going to be win some vouchers. If you don't like Nando's, just give it to me, please. Huh? I'll go. You like Nando's? Okay, well, who's next? So your response will help her, inshallah. Takbir. Wow, I like. We have an audience now. This is what I'm like looking forward to. This is perfect. Guys, we, just to let you know, we also have uh, Sheikh Ajmal Masrur joining us very soon. Uh, he's a scholar, he's a politician, he's a media personality. So he's going to be doing a very interactive session, inshallah, in the next few minutes. He'll be with us very, very shortly. And Sheikh Ammar will be also announcing all the winners. And you guys have to make sure you clap for everybody. Is that okay, yeah? Shall we practice? Okay, I'm gonna count till three, everybody start clapping. One, two, three, start clapping. Thank you very much. I like that, perfect. Okay, so whoever wants to play the quiz, right? Whilst we're waiting for the result, I thought we might as well do a quiz, right? Yeah? All right, first question. Are you guys ready? It's a very Islamic question. Do you like your family from your mom's side or dad's side? <laughs> oh, they're all confused now. Oh. Oh, do, you, uh, do you like the family? Hmm? Okay, dad is like, better, better say me, my side, my side, my side. Do you like the family, right? By family, I mean, you know, dad's brothers, sister, cousins from that side or mom's side. And if you are going to answer it, you have to give me a reason as well. Why? Okay, are you sure? All right, this boy over there in green, come forward, come forward. That side or mom's side? Go on, shout it out, go on, tell me. Ha hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep it halal, yeah? Okay. Which side? Mom's side. Mom's side, yes. Moms are winning. Okay, why mom's side? Because um, our moms gave birth to us, they breastfed us, so, uh, like, 
our mums are like like the hadith your mum your mum your mum then your dad wow well, that's amazing that's not the answer i was looking for that's actually amazing so basically your mum has the importance three times more than dad yeah okay wow that's a very calculated this guy is going to be a doctor inshallah yeah very nice okay who else you have to give me a reason as well, right? Why do you like the family SU yes, over there? Yeah, yeah, you at the back. No, you have, oh, I can't hear you because it's come here. You have to come here quickly. Come talk to me. Yes, come on, guys. Give him, give him a round of applause. Every start clapping for him. Come forward. Come forward. You better be a good reason, yeah. Not like because my dad took me to like uh, Kitzania or something. All right. I, I like my my dad's side and my mom's side. Such a typical answer, beta. But uh, you like both? Okay, this boy will do well in life. Very nice, mashallah. Round of applause for him. Okay. Yes, you have an answer? Mum side, dad side, who? Mum side. Both. Does anybody here like dad side more than the mum side? Put your hands up. For dad side. Like four hands, okay. And put your hands together. Put your hands up if you like mom side. See, this is the problem with you know. Acha, perfect. Are you guys ready for the quiz? Okay. Well, this is great. Okay. Can you name? If you know the answer, please don't shout your name. You have to put your hand up, right? And uh, name the first prophet of Islam if you know the name okay I'm gonna ask you and if I point to you just stand up and shout it out is that okay so we're not winning anything we're just winning a round of applause which is a big deal because we are a little bit grieve here on the stage you know no pese you know that's the problem petrol prices are higher as if you care but you know what I'm talking about right okay first profit uh, you over there yes stand up stand up yeah just say it just shout it just say it Prophet Adam, round of applause guys, come on clap for him. <laughs> Shall we make it harder? That was easy, right? Okay, now let's, let's keep it simple. Can you name the last prophet of Islam? Stand up. Stand up. Oh, okay, oh, I'll have to tell you. Okay. Uh, it's you over there. Prophet Muhammad, come on guys, round of applause for her. So basically in a minute we are going to be distributing uh, certificates and trophies to all the winners from earlier on. Alright, okay. Shall we make it difficult? Can anybody name? What was the name? Okay, Prophet Musa's brother's name. Prophet Musa had a brother who was also a prophet. What was his name if you know the answer? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you. Prophet Harun, guys, round of applause for him. Yeah, that was a hard one. Next one. How many prophets? See, this is this is not from Google. Huh? This is from my brain, by the way. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, although I was, uh, I did very bad in my GCSEs, but uh, we don't call it GCSE. We call it matric in Pakistan. Yeah. Give me a cheer if you did matric. Matric is the pass ki pe. Like one lady did matric. She did matric. I achhe number aaye the ke fail ho gayi achhe number what are you doing in the uk eh so any doctors in the house do you have any doctors she's a doctor panadol wale doctor nahi asli doctor okay we don't have any doctors i had a doctor joke so i'm just not going to skip it right all right guys we're going to do okay we're going to do some muslim nursery rhymes together are you ready I've done this joke on my stand-up comedy show. I, am, I hope I'm allowed to do it. Okay. Right. When I put my hand... Okay, get your phones out, guys. We're going to do a Muslim nursery rhyme. Everybody get your phones out. No, not you guys. Oh, you have a phone? Okay. Okay. When I put my hand up, I want each and everybody to say, E-I-E-I-O. Can you do it? Can you do it? I want somebody to record this for me, right? All right. Let's practice. One, two, three. Come on guys, you can do better than this, right? Alright. Muslim nursery rhymes for you guys. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> All McDonald's are not halal. All McDonald's are not halal.
not halal. The food they sell is very haram. Okay, I'm not going to do the rest. Of <laughs> so next time, I have another one from South London. It's called Baba Bossman. <laughs> That's when you go to a chicken shop. You're saying Baba Bossman is your wings halal. <laughs> but we're not going to do that today. Today we're going to stick to all McDonald's are not. <laughs> all right, okay. Sorry, I can't do the whole joke with you because. Uh, it's a bit PG. All right, moving on. Next one. Okay. What was the name of Prophet Muhammad's first wife? Khadija Raziyallah Taala. Anu, guys, round applause for him over there. Okay. So we know Prophet Muhammad was born in the city of Mecca. But after a few years, he migrated to another city in, which is in Saudi Arabia right now. If you know the name, put your hands up of the city. The city of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. Uh, yes, you over there. Uh, no, it's not Luton, no. <laughs> what are you thinking? No, Birmingham. Astaghfirullah, Birmingham. I can't stand the accent. Huh? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, you. Medina is the right answer. Round applause. Yes. What do they want to do? Uh, reciting? No, no, no reciting. Just uh, chilling over here with me. Come on, guys. Alright, how are we doing with the awards? They're still, they're still writing down the things, man. Okay. A few more questions, shall we? Okay. Who do you love more, your mommy or daddy? Too many mommy's boys over here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm sorry for asking that question. Sorry about it. Maaf kar do minu. Aaj kal de bache hul. Coco melon. Who likes Coco melon by the way? Like? I got kids as well, you know, yeah. Coco melon, little angel. Little baby bum. There's literally one. That's me all day long. Acha. Next question. How many prophets are named in the Quran altogether? By name. I could be I could be wrong, but I'm, little, I, I'm nearly sure. How many prophets are named in the Quran? 25. I think is the right answer. Talia, uh, round of applause. Oh. 25 prophets are named. It's, it's literally counting. Okay, next one. According to Quran, how many prophets has Allah sent to this world? Right from Prophet Adam to Prophet Muhammad, how many prophets were sent to this world? Oh, that's a hard one. Now, how many altogether? We don't need to know the names. 124,000. Talia! Amazing. Was it 124, 25? 24, yeah, I got it right. You said 25. Hear me. Very good. Very close. Very close. Okay. Who knows all this name of the Islamic months? Islamic months. I need somebody. Okay, you know all the months? Ajo, come here, come here. Come on, guys, give him a big round of applause. What's your name again? Muhammad, yes. Nice and loud. Name me all. Look over there and tell them the name of all the months. Come on guys, big round of applause. Takes a lot to come on stage. Thank you. Does anybody know the name of the fasting month where we do fasting? Which one of you was fasting last uh, in, in in Ramadan? Serious fasting, not the 
Not that, not the half day one, yeah. Was, you, did you, did you fast? How many did you this year? One. Mashallah, very nice. Five, okay, five. That's it. Masha Come on, round of applause for all of you guys for fasting and inshallah when you grow older. And you know in Ramadan, what's your favorite food to eat? Yes, yeah, shout it out, shout out the food. Somebody lost their Barclay card. So inshallah all your kids will have ice cream now. We have a, these days we don't even need a pin number. So has somebody lost their Barclay card? And you have overdraft, please come see me. Is it yours? What's your name? What's the expiry date? What's the last name? How do you spell it? Sorry, sorry. This could be this could be the lady buying us ice cream, guys. So be careful. No, that's not yours. But you lost your card, <laughs> guys. Who else? Everybody else in the park has somebody lost their Barclays Visa debit card. You have two minutes until these guys get ice cream. <laughs> Are you guys ready for some ice cream? Should we buy some ice cream? All we have to do is just touch it and that's it. Read, I, I can't pronounce it name. Definitely no Desi name, okay. It's a mister as well. Okay, that's a mister. Men are always very conjuice, you know. She know what conjuice is, huh? Is your daddy conjuice? Of course he, of course he is. Okay, let's find out what's happening with the Sheikh, are we ready? What's happening? Okay, so if anybody's uh, lost their card, please come see a member of staff. Who should I give this card to? I don't even know. Are you sure? But you ice cream, didn't you? Okay. Has anybody had, have a special talent here? My kids have a special talent of not listening to me, you know. <laughs> So within the next two minutes, we are going to be announcing the winners of the Kira competition. Well, is this your special talent? You are invading my stage, huh? Oh, hang on a minute. Does this guy look like me? Oh yeah, I'm going to pose for a picture. Okay, thank you very much. I paid him to do that, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> okay, what, do, what does he want to say? Mummy, mum. So we have a mum here really forcing. Okay, he doesn't want to go on stage. He's like, yeah. Yeah, a man doesn't want to go on stage, you know? You know how it's like, you know, they see parents especially, oh my god. They'll push you anywhere. Better jao. Perfect. Acha. So. Are we ready for one more question? Okay. Which city was Prophet Jesus Isa was born in? Which city? Oh, not Birmingham, better. Come on. No, not Sheffield. Come on. Which city was Prophet Isa born in? I'll ask you, not Makkah. Okay, I'll ask you. Somebody who has an answer, you've answered before. Okay, you, you, yes, you or the, the, the girl in blue, yes. What she said? Germany, no, it's not Germany. Okay. 
Which city was Prophet Isa born? I, I, I can tell a lot of adults don't know that. Acha. Bani is uh, yes, but which city? You know, there's a specific area, a city where Prophet Isa, guys. This is one of the most important prophet in Islam. We should know this. Okay, kids know. Okay. Um, yes, you were there. Palestine, yes. But where in Palestine? We need to be very specific with this answer. Bethlehem, that's the right answer. Talia. Come on, give him a round of applause. How do you spell it? B E T H. That's the one. I googled it last night, yeah, just for the night. <laughs> Achha, perfect. Okay. Which prophet was gobbled by a big fish? Big fish. Big, I don't know if it was a shark or a whale. Big fish, okay. Spider Man boy over there, yes, you, yeah. Prophet Yunus, come on guys, give me a round of applause. Or they also call him Prophet Jonah in English. Which prophet fell into a well? He fell into a well and he was there. Okay, he was thrown in the well. I'm sorry, but I'm a mom. Maaf kar de. Like, nee, he was thrown in there. Which prophet was thrown or he fell into a well? Prophet. Prophet Yusuf is the right answer. Talia. Okay, my questions are nearly finished. Are you guys having a good time, by the way? Yeah. Have you guys had anything to eat? Yeah. No? Yeah. Stand up if you haven't had anything to eat. Stand up. Go see your parents now. Where are the parents? Astaghfirullah. No, no, it's okay. Come back, guys. I was joking. It's okay. Come back. Your parents, they could have fed you two hours ago. They just can juice, you know. Sit down. What we need to, what we, you know what guys, in a minute we're gonna go around looking for debit cards and we'll feed ourselves, yeah? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, chef, this is not what I signed up for today. Bas masti ho rahi. Okay. I don't know what I'm about to do right now. But shall we play a musical statue? Yeah. <laughs> From where you are. Not on stage. Do we have the music ready? Uh, he's looking for password. Okay. Okay, I think we're getting the we, we have to wait. Sorry if you don't mind. Musical statue, who's, who's played that before? Basically when the music stops, you stop, but if you're moving, you're out. The sun is out, mashallah, okay. Okay, basically, uh, the sound guy is going to the toilet. <laughs> so we, we have to skip it. So who's okay? So as you guys know, we are here for Eid al Adha, right? Yeah. Who's gonna come in and tell us what's so special about this Eid? Why do we celebrate this Eid? Yeah. Can we have you come here? Come here and tell us. Because it was the day uh, Prophet Ibrahim sacrificed the God. That's right. Absolutely amazing, guys. Give him a round of applause. So this is obviously, this Eid is all about sacrifice, you know. And one of the sacrifices you guys can do when you go home today, listen to your parents. <laughs> That's a sacrifice. Uh, you can sacrifice your tablet. Who's got a tablet? Me! Who's got an iPhone? You have an iPhone? 
बेटा, I had to do two jobs to buy one. आज, how old are you? You are six and you have an iPhone. You have iPhone too. You have two iPhones. Where are your parents? Let's find them. Security, security. He's got two iPhones. Oh, what, 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 how many iPhones have you got? Ten iPhone. iPhone ten. Oh my God, these kids. Are you sure you live in Hounslow or Gerrard's Cross? <laughs> Actually, everybody who lives in Slough also lives in Gerrard's Cross. Here. That's what they say, everybody. Yeah. So it's really nice to see we have people from different backgrounds. So Pakistanis in the house, make some noise. Do we have any Indians in the house, make some noise? Okay, calm down, it's okay. We beat you in cricket, okay. Uh, do we have any Arabs in the house, make some noise, Arabs? I was expecting more like... Okay. Do we have any Somalis in the house, make some noise? Say wallahi, you know, okay. English people in the house, make some noise? Goalies in the house, make some noise. Do we have any Muslims in the house, make some noise? So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Allah made us, you know, we are from different countries, but at the end of the day, Islam is what unites us. So, everybody make some noise for the unity of Islam. <laughs> Before I lose my voice, I've, uh, I've run out of jokes now. And uh, musical statue, the DJ is going to the toilet, he's still there. Uh, sir, uh, he's asking, is he gone for number one, number two? Uh, is the music back on? No. Thought so. Salamu Sheikh sir. Okay. Shall we take a two minute break, guys? Tomorrow morning when I wake up, my voice will be gone. So, has anybody been on holidays this year somewhere? Nice, somewhere nice. Listen, not your auntie's house in East London, like somewhere nice. I was in Cornwall yesterday, Cornwall. Very nice, exotic. Lots of windmills and English peoples. <laughs> it took me three days to find first Desi person there. <laughs> And halal food, mashallah. Okay, who's been on holiday this year already? Where did you go? Madeira. Oh, hello. Okay, very nice. Where did you go, Mr. Jurassic World? Pakistan. Okay, very nice. Pakistan is the holiday where Asian parents literally force you to go. I also went to Pakistan. I found out it was my wedding the next day. <laughs> Okay, all the all the aunties in the house, give me a chair. You know what, these aunties, no wonder if you're Indian auntie, Pakistani auntie, Somali auntie, they'll go to any event and they'll look for a rishta. They'll look for a mar marriage proposal. They're gonna look for a rishta for the uncle, son's, auntie's cousin who work at Asta in Hounslow. And they're scanning for suitable halal. So to all the aunties out there, I just want to confess you guys something, sure. that I am married. <laughs> and mashallah, my wife is English. Round close for my English wife. The security is here to catch me. Bro, you can't catch me. My man's got English wife now, you know. You lost Barclay's card, brother? Uh, okay. So, uh, this is a brother. Guys, Barclay card guys over here. Are you buying us ice cream, sir? Literally ruined my joke. <laughs> okay, so my wife is English, but she's got a very Pakistani name. My wife's name is C H A R Char L O T T E Lote. Char Lote. 
Can anybody tell me what a lota is? Kids, do you use lota in your house? Astaghfirullah. Lota ni use karta. See, lota is a, how shall I explain it to people who don't understand? Lota looks like Aladdin's lamp. The only problem is my English mother-in-law, she confused you for a teapot. Okay. Enough of Lota jokes now. Sister, I'm losing my voice. Alright, two minutes, I'll be back. Alright, stick around, thank you. Can I have all the kids back, please? But it's not a rock concert, you can go back. It's okay. Okay, perfect. So, earlier today, you guys saw some amazing kids on stage. We had a Kira competition, which was uh, being, we had an amazing judge uh, slash host, Sheikh Ammar. Can you all put your hands together? Come around, close for Sheikh Ammar, guys, from Hounslow Mosque. Sheikh Amar will be giving out the prizes and naming the winners. It could be one of you guys. It could be you. It could be anybody. It could be me. Oh, no. It, no, it can't be me. I'm not a kid anymore. It's okay though. <laughs> Too late. It could be you. Yes. So who, who took part earlier? Put your hands up. Who took part earlier in the competition? That's it. Make sure you sit down there. So we had three categories. Sheikh, welcome back. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we did have three categories. Um, the announcements, sorry, two categories. Two categories. Third is later. So we've got two categories at the moment and the third one is later. Assalamualaikum for the Imam. Have we got the announcements, the names? Okay, lovely. So just to let you know, the winner in each category will get a 50 pound gift card in Westfields, London. Wow, 50 pound. You can go to your mum's favorite makeup shop and let her buy it. No, you wouldn't. You know how mummies are, right? No, I need it. 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 And the second prize is 35 pound gift card in Westfields. And the third one was something like that. <laughs> And we have some gifts to give out as well. Okay. So who want to win those gift cards? Guys, make sure if you win, do not give it to mommy and daddy, right? Go to a shop of your choice. And make sure you spend your own money, huh? You know how easy money, right? When I was your age, I used to get easy money. My mom used to take it away from me. I would never see it. Same, huh? Who never got the ED money back from their parents? See? I feel like crying like you guys. <laughs> These parents are very zalim, you know? <laughs> Alright, okay. Yes, Chief. He's only joking, yeah? No, no, I'm <laughs> serious. I have childhood trauma for my ED money. My mom still doesn't give it to <laughs> me. Alright, how are we doing? Yes, we've got also brother, our Imam Ajman Masroor. Inshallah, he's going to be joining us on stage. stage, guys. In the meanwhile, uh, if you are recording this, please tag us. West London Eid Festival on Instagram. You can tag me. My name is Salman Malik. Man's from Croydon. Anybody from South London? Whereabouts? Tooting. Allah maaf kare. Hi, hi, hi. Tooting. Who wants to go to Tooting? What an amazing honor, guys. Can you everybody please put your hands here for Sheikh Ajmal Basrur, guys? As seen on TV, as seen everywhere, mashallah. Sheikh Sabka's swagger is also on point. 
So he's a scholar, mashallah, a TV personality, and he also has a Wikipedia page, which I don't yet. I, I'm only on LinkedIn. Sheikh, welcome. <laughs> How do you feel about today? I feel very good, Alhamdulillah. It's an amazing uh, gathering of so many people. When I was coming here, I was thinking, wow, I don't know how many people have turned up here. Am I supposed to say something? Assalamu yeah. alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I can't hear you at all. Just hold on, hold on one second. Let's try that again. We've got thousands of people here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So he was wrong when he said you didn't have lunch. You all have eaten. Did you hear how loud they are? No, they haven't eaten, you know. Some of them are starving. Uh, if, they were, if they had eaten, they would be louder, right? Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been told to announce some um, winners. First prize and second prize for the competition. And I have them here. Shall I tell? So, Sheikh, Sheikh we go with the... You got them? The commendable first. Yeah, well, Bismillah. And then we'll go for the first. Yes, yes, yes go Inshallah, ahead, with your permission. Uh, anytime, Bismillah. So, we've got the... So, this is the 327 age group. So we'll start with the um, eight commendables that we've got. The first one is Aisha Hamani. Round of applause, guys. Who is Aisha Hamani? Where's Aisha Hamani? Okay. Uh, we've got Abdul Rahman. That's Aisha there. Yes, Aisha. I come at the stage. Okay. We've got Abdul Rahman. Where's Abdul Rahman? That for her. Okay, we've got Aisha Mughal. Can we get Mariam on the stage? And a bag, is it? And a bag for Aisha? Okay, hold on. So, this is for Aisha. Come on, guys, give them a big round of applause, everybody. Come on, start clapping for them. Aisha. Certificate. Oh, wow, look at that. Congratulations. And what about these two? This is Abdul Rahman. Aisha Mughal? Yeah. Aisha Mughal. And we've got Aisha Mughal as the commendable. Wow, this is cool. Can I see it? Wow, very nice. <laughs> Come on, round of applause for Abdul Rahman, guys. Give him a big round of applause. That's it. Aisha Mughal. And Aisha Mughal. From the royal family of Mughals. Ah, she's royal. Now in Hounslow. Aisha. 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 Come, you can stand here, wait. Oh. Uh, come here, please. This is Mariam. Mariam. <laughs> Round of for Mariam, guys. Come on. Who's next? Muhammad Hussein. Muhammad Hussein. And who's next, Chef? Hussain, uh, can we get Saad? Saad, can Sa'ad. we get Saad? I remember Saad. Saad. Saad, which are a bouncy castle in the bedroom. Is Muhammad Hussain here? Muhammad Hussain. Muhammad Hussain, where are you? No. Okay. Okay, he might be missing. I'll take the vouchers. You give him the certificate. Saad, where is Saad? We have Muhammad Hussain here. He looks different today. 
Mom's definitely come to collect it. Ethile, I'm here makeup. Yeah, I mean, where is Saad? No Saad? Saad is probably having lunch. What? It's okay. Can we get Nureis? Nureis. Guys, round of applause for Nureis. If Nureis is here. Who's next as well? Nureis. Nureis. Saad is here. Yeah. Where is Nureis? This is not Saad. This is not Saad. Right, sure. So who do we have next? Do you want a juice? Juice. Why is there a prime? What is this? Guys, there's a giant spider on top of me. Hello, I just want to say hello to my mom back home. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, me. It's <laughs> Nareis, he hasn't come on the stage. Has okay. Been. Okay. Can we get Muhammad Abdullah? Muhammad Abdullah, please, guys. Yes. Muhammad Abdullah, can you come on the stage? Yes, he's coming. There he is. Who's next, Sheikh? Sorry, is it? Commander Mustafa. Yeah. What is it now? I think it's the. Uh, Ajay Bhatti, there I go. Safe, yeah, safe. Oh, oh, oh. So strong. Do that again, do that again. Oh, boy, you're better. <laughs> boxing champion, you like boxing? You like boxing? Okay. Sounds so shy and man, I was like, proper, like, kickboxing with me, huh? Nice. I like that. Congratulations. Hey, can we get Elias Musani? <laughs> Elias Musani, is that you? Yeah, Elias. Elias. Oh, sorry, 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 boss, we got your name wrong. Elias. <laughs> Man's Elias, you know. Man's from West London. Well done. Hannah Shay. Where's Hannah Shay? Come, come, stand, come stand with us. Hannah Shay. It's too dangerous over there. Here, stand over there. Come, come on, guys. Big round of applause for all of the kids, guys. Yes, so do we have the certificates ready? Yeah. We've got certificates for them. Okay, who is Elias? Elias, yes. in the middle. Are you Elias? Elias. Elias. Yeah. Is you? Yep. Yeah. 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 Muhammad Hassan. Where is Muhammad Hassan? Muhammad Hassan and who else? Muhammad Hassan and that's and Muhammad. That's it. Muhammad Hassan. Congratulations. Go stand here now. for ages three to seven the second position is with Umar Noor Umar Noor MashaAllah Takbir Come on guys Takbir Umar Noor to the stage second position Mashallah, whilst we're doing that guys, we have a very special announcement. It's a Honda car, GU54. It's always the Honda owners. You're blocking Osterley Lane. You're blocking somebody's wedding. You're blocking somebody's hospital appointment. Honda Blue. 
GU54 VKR guys, if that's your car, firstly, Gaddi Prani ho gaya. Secondly, you better move it ASAP. Let's park it in the nice way as possible, inshallah. So GU54, not the postcode, the car. Please make sure you move the car, guys. Thank you very much. The police is asking, believe me, police was saying. You don't want to mess with them. Guys, we have our second winner. A big round of applause. Mashallah, well done. Yes, Sheikh, who do we have next? First position we have for the Qira'a competition for ages 3 to 7. First position. So guys, this person has done the best. And Sheikh, as you were judging this, yep. what, what made them stand was, out? Okay, main thing, the pronunciation, the articulation of letters. Wow, okay. And the flow of his recitation flow. was beautiful. Guys, so you have to give them the big round of applause, a big welcome okay. to this next winner. And who is it? It is Ibrahim Hussein. Ibrahim Hussein. Give a big round of applause for Ibrahim, guys. Wow, he's so happy. Mashallah. Look at that smile. Mashallah. We want to listen to him again, right? Go on then, Bismillah. Recitation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he's the first prize winner, and there you go. It says Ibrahim Hussein. Is that you? A massive round of applause for him. Come on, everyone. Well done. Go and join the group over there. Right. Yes, Sheikh. I think organizers. Organizers. Are we ready for the next group? So, guys, are you having a good time? Lovely. So, inshallah, next year, if, do you guys want to do this next year as well? Yeah! You want to take part and come on stage next year? Yeah! Well, as it's the first time, inshallah, next year we'll be bringing some more fun stuff for you. Uh, just tell the lady to book me again, huh? <laughs> okay, we have a few more awards to give out. Yes, uh, are we done or a few more? One more category to go. Yes. And it's really nice, the weather has been on our side. I can see a lot of familiar faces here. Including that guy in that extraordinary t-shirt. Yes, yes. Lovely, really, really nice. So the next category is in five minutes, apparently. We have a short, short break. Sheikh Saab is here, Sheikh. If that's okay, I think it's, no. it's best. Am I supposed to say something now? Thank <laughs> you. 
the stage. We're gonna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello. Okay, we have a. Is that a lost child? Come, just Come get on her on stage. stage. What's your name? Okay, we have another lost child. Ladies and gents, if you lost a child, a little baby girl. Okay. Soha, Soha. Soha. Parents, as we've been saying. Uh, Soha? Hey, Soha? Okay, who is, whose daughter is this wonderful girl called Suha? How old are you, Suha? Are you three or are you four? Four. Three. Suha is three years old. Now, what is your mummy's name? What's your mum? Mummy. Mummy's called Mummy. Mummy's name is Mummy. Suha's mum and dad. Do we have an echo over here? Well, you can come and join us and pretend to be. Uh, uh, anyway, so a long, long time ago, there was a man called. And he had one son called Ismail. How did you know? <laughs> Were you there at that time? You know the story. Okay, Is Ismail, right? His name is Ismail. Your name is Ismail. I've got too many different. Okay, so there was a there was here's a he had a boy called Ismail. He really really loved him. He really loved him, and he was always looking after his son. One day, he told his wife that they should go somewhere and they should get ready. So his wife got ready, and with the baby Ismail, they started travelling from their home to a farm away land. They walk through the mountains, they walk through the desert, they walk through the sun and the heat. Huh? They didn't have a plane at that time. No. They didn't even have a donkey. They didn't have a horse nor even a camel. No cars. Nothing. And it was the desert. It was so hot. Remember a few days ago in our country we had, it was very hot. It was even hotter than here. So Ibrahim and Ismail and uh, Ismail's mum, three of them started walking to a far away land. The land was called Bakka. Okay, now it's called Mecca. Now it's called Mecca, but at that time it was called Bakka. It was just a mountain. There was nobody living there. There were no houses. There was nothing in that particular area. So Ibrahim came with his son Ismail and his wife. What was his wife's name? No. Hajar, Hajira is the Arabic name, Hajira. Ismail's mother's name is what? Hajira, okay? And Ismail's dad's name is what? Ibrahim. I want you to remember these names, very important, right? So they came to the mountain and his father, Ibrahim, said to Hajira, his wife, look, I'm going to leave you here and I'm going. She goes, what? In the middle of this no man's land, there are no people, there are no houses, no food, not even a tree. What am I going to do? Ibrahim started walking away. As Ibrahim is walking away, his wife came and said, Can you tell me, Ismail, why are you leaving me on my own here? In this no man's land. Ismail, Ibrahim kept quiet. The mother, Hajira, was holding the baby, Ismail, and she said to Ibrahim, Ibrahim, why are you leaving me and the son here on our own? Ibrahim kept quiet, didn't say anything. After a few minutes, his wife said, Hajira said, Ibrahim, is this an order from Allah? Did Allah tell you to do this to us? Did Allah tell you to do this to us? It's Ibrahim said, yes, Allah told me to leave you here. Guess what Hajira said? Hajira said, if Allah told you to leave us here, don't worry, Allah will look after us. Go, you can go. Ibrahim left, left Ismail and Hajira in the middle of the mountains. No water, no tree, no animals, no human being, no cars, nothing in the whole area, just mountains, not even animals. So she saw two mountains, and in the middle of the mountain, she sat down with her baby Ismail. She looked up the mountain, looked up the mountain, looked around and she could see nothing. So she decided to climb the mountain. So she left Ismail on the floor and she ran up to the top of the mountain, right on the top of Safa. One mountain is called Safa, went to the top and looked around to see if there was any water anywhere. If there was any sign of any human beings, any animals, any trees, any life. From Safa she looked around and she couldn't see anything.
She came down again to Ismail to see if Ismail is okay. Baby Ismail is on his own. Came and checked Ismail. Ismail is okay. She then ran running up to the top of Safa, Mar uh, the other side called Marwa. All the way to the top. Looked around, left, right and center, all around. She tried to see if there was any signs of human beings, any signs of animals, any signs of tree or life. Nothing. Came back running to Ismail to see if Ismail is okay. Ismail is okay. Run up all the way to the top of Safa again. Came back. Went to Marwa. Like this, she kept on running up and down, up and down. On the seventh time, as she was on the top of the mountain, she saw from the feet of baby Ismail something miraculous happening. What was happening? Water was coming out. And from the top of the mountain, she saw the water coming out so fast that Ismail is going to be drowned by the water. So what did she say from the top? She said, stop, stop, stop. And in her language, stop, stop meant zam, zam, stop, stop. That was the meaning of zam, zam, stop, stop. In other words, she was calling the water to stop, not come out too much. She came running. What did she do? She put a, uh, she put a barrier around, she put a circle around with some stones and mud. And that water became the water of zam, zam. Has anyone ever tasted the water of zam, zam here? Put your hands up if you have tasted the water of zam, zam. Very good. How many of you have been to Mecca to do Umrah or Hajj? You went to Mecca? Children were not allowed inside. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Next time, inshallah. Who, did you go? When you were a baby, you went to Hajj. You're still a baby though, inshallah. How old were you at that time? Two, one. You're a baby. Oh, alhamdulillah. So, you know, you still have water of Zamzam in Mecca today. Can you imagine thousands and thousands of years ago, a water well, a water started coming out from the earth thousands of years ago and it is still running without ever finishing. How does that happen? How does it keep on going? Yes. Huh? Go on. Allah made it happen. Allah said to the water, you keep on going and the water will keep on going until the day of judgment, inshallah. So Zamzam water is still there if you ever go to Mecca and you can drink the water there of course. Water is clean and pure, thousands of years, millions of people have drunk it, nobody ever gets harmed, alhamdulillah. You sometimes get bottles of Zamzam water sold in shops. I'm not sure if they're good water, bad water, if they're true Zamzam water, but if they're, alhamdulillah, if your parents have been to uh, Hajj and or Umrah, you'll get to see it. Anyway, Ibrahim and Isma Ismail with his mother were now in the middle of the mountain only with water. And as soon as the water started, what happened? Birds started circling on top because birds, when they see water, they circle on the top. It's what happens in the desert. A group of caravan was passing by, a group of people, business people were passing by. They looked down and they saw, oh my God, we can see. They looked up and saw birds circling around. So they said, oh, there must be water there. So they followed the sign of the bird. They came to the mountain and they saw Hajira and Ismail sitting next to the water, guarding the water. Hajira said, you can have my water with condition. You have to pay me. So she started using the water to develop her own area. People came, they built house for her, they fed them, looked after them slowly, slowly. It became a small village and it became known as a place called Bakka. And we call it what? What do you call it now? Mecca. And when, where is Mecca? Where is Mecca, young man? Saudi Arabia. Have you been to Saudi Arabia before? Would you like to go? Inshallah, one day, one day. One day we should all go to Umrah and Hajj, Inshallah. So, Mecca is still there. Zamzam water is still there. Long, long time ago though, let's go back to Ibrahim and Ismail. What happened to Ibrahim and Ismail? Ibrahim had left. He left the baby and the mother on their own. Ibrahim came back many, many years later to see what the mother and the baby were doing. And the story of Ibrahim and Ismail, inshallah, will continue later on. Uh, Salma and your team, are you ready for the next uh, installment? I've, I've told them the part of the story, and I think it's time to give them some presents. Yes. Oh, Su Suha's, Suha is still here looking for her mum or dad. Suha's mum and dad, are you still, are you around? Suha's mum and dad. 
We're looking for Suha's mum and dad. Uh, this child has come to the front. We're looking for Suha's mum and dad. Anyone here recognize the parents of this girl or the girl herself? Please come to the front and try and find, uh, try and see if you can help, inshallah. Right. Uh, Sheikh, uh, today we are doing this and also part time lost and found, you know. Okay, what have, uh, we, found? What so, have we found now? So there was a silver wallet. Uh, there's a lovely Polish lady I met here and she lost a silver wallet with her ID and card in there. And we've now found it. But now, good job finding the Polish lady back, you know. So that's the harder part now. So, do we have Martha? Yakshimash? Where are you, Shiv? Martha, if you can hear me, you are welcome to collect it. Just follow me on Instagram as well, please. I need, I need followers, you know. My mom wants, my mom is, you know, she says you need more followers, beta. Anji. So we're gonna take a one minute, uh, Sheikh, we're gonna take a one minute break. They're gonna change the generators, you know, like back home they do for electricity. She looks happy. Mom ko tension hi koi nahi hai. So happy mom. Acha, aap dhoond rhi thudar acha. But we need to charge you some money for this. Can you, mom, can you give ice cream for us? Me, especially ice cream for me. And even Suha was so happy, she didn't want to go. I think she was enjoying the limelight. The most important chair. Okay, we have got the next round of prizes to give. And if we are ready, we inshallah will give that out straight away. Are we giving prizes to parents? No, parents, I'm sorry. You're not getting any prizes. Yay! Yeah, the children are saying, yay, they're not getting any. <laughs> That's not very good, is it? You won't be here if your parents were not doing hard work. Oh my God, you children have forgotten it. You share yours with your parents? Where's your, what are your parents? Where? They're sitting together. Oh, your mum and your dad? Your three mums are sitting over there. What are, th what are the three mums over there? Okay. Yes, yeah, Sheikh, so we have a few winners now. Oh, we uh, have? I've got some names. You're welcome to stay where you are. Okay. I'm so quite, very comfortable. <laughs> Okay, so highly commendable Abdullah Hamani. Abdullah, round applause for Abdullah, guys. Come on, give round applause for him. Talia. Yes, Abdullah. Highly commendable. Very good. Congratulations. Yes, sister, who do we have next? Certificate for Abdullah, sir. Abdullah, and also let's have one of those uh, uh, envelopes that you're going to give away. The magic envelope that contains all the money for makeup. Come on, come on. Apparently, this contains all the money for the makeup. <laughs> uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, Abdullah Hamani has got his prize. Give him a round of applause, please. There you go. Well done, mashallah. The next one is uh, Aman. Highly commendable Aman. Who oh, is Aman? Aman, are you here? Where? Why is he so shy? Was that you? Huh? 
Aman, uh, yeah, what's the surname? We have another, uh, was it Aman Wara? We're looking for Aman, what's his surname? He's asking, did he win anything? Which one is he? Did you take part in the competition? Then you must come, come, come to the front. Wait, what's ice cream? Round applause for Aman, guys. Okay, this is for you, your bag, your certificate, and the envelope, mashallah. Give it a round of applause for Aman again. Okay, next one. Who is next? In the bag. Thank you. Hudayfa. Hudayfa. We have two Hudayfa. Hudayfa Mahat Jale. Hudayfa Mahat Jale. That must be... Is it Jale? Behind you. But there first, mom's got her camera ready. Assalamu alaikum, mashallah. Is it Jelly? Where are you from? Somali. So you're not from Somalia? I'm just joking. Okay, give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. But there mom, mom's trying to take picture. Come forward, come forward. She's trying to take picture, man. Okay. Another one. Another Hudayfa. Hudayfa, this is Muhammad Hudayfa Sheikh. Muhammad Hudayfa Sheikh. Over there, guys. Round pause for him. Come on, keep clapping. Highly commendable. Well, it's coming, Huzaifa. Muhammad Huzaifa Sheikh. Let him come through. That's a long name, huh? Yes, oh, it's taken all really? three names. Three names. Ladies and gentlemen, a massive round of applause for this young man. There you go. An envelope at the back. Come and join them over there. Who is next? You have Sarah Saeed. Sarah Saeed. Are you Sarah Saeed? That was quick. Sarah was ready. There you go, Sarah. Your envelope. And don't give it to your mum like we said. All yours. Give her a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, go and join the group over there. Who? Next one. With, with me? Okay. Sabrina Awal. Who is Sabrina Awal? Sabrina Awal, are you coming? Thank you. Is this... Uh, Thank you. Sabrine, oh well guys, round of applause to Sabrine. There you go, and this is your bag. Well done. Very confident, mashallah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, winner again, yeah? mashallah. Guys, we have Airway News in the house. What, is, what is what is Airway News? Airway News, you don't know? Ask the Pakistanis auntie sitting here, they know what Airway News I'm talking so, about. Sounds like airy news. <laughs> Pele jewelry hoti thi, pata? Oh, it's a Safa? Safa Sheikh. Oh! Safa Sheikh, ladies and gentlemen. Safa Sheikh. There you go. Give her. <laughs> round of applause. Come on, guys, round of applause to Safa as well. What's the name? Zakaria Ullah. Zakaria Ullah, are you here? Zakaria, yes, absolutely. This, this bag. Zach. Come on, Zachariah. Yeah, yeah, he's got the gift card. This is for you, and your certificate, and that's your bag. Thank you very much. Lovely. Lovely, Zachariah. Just, oh, just, just, uh, just stand next to him. Anybody else? Okay. Okay, got it. Amani. Amani, are you here? Amani? Amani. No, no Amani is here. Amani, are you here? No, no Amani. So we're going to have to come back to Amani later. Who is that? Hansel, do, uh, do you have a card for him? No. So this is the next level. Yeah. Okay, do we have anybody called Hansel Samadhi? Hansel Samadhi? Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. Come on, guys, give, give him a big round of applause. Uh, I, I've taken over your job. No, it's fine. <laughs> This is for you. Well done. And this is your bag. Join the group. Inaya Mughal. Thank you. Inaya Mughal. No, these are all gone. Come on, Inaya. Inaya Mughal, guys. Come on, guys. Give her an applause. Massive round of applause for Inaya Mughal. Thank you very much. Join the group, Inaya.
Khadija. Next one is uh, Khadija. Is Khadija here? Khadija. Yes. I think there are too many Khadijas. There should be at least one here today. Khadija. We're looking for Khadija. You're not Khadija, are you? <laughs> Anyone called Khadija who has won a prize? No? Okay, Khadija is not here. I'll put him there, inshallah. Muhammad Rehan. Rehan. Muhammad Rehan. Yes, Rehan. Oh, I remember. Armani jeans. Congratulations, Rehan. Oh, thank you very much. You're all done. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Come on, guys. Come on, give me my ground close, Muhammad Ali. Well done. Thank you. And here's your certificate. He's already got a bag. I can see that. Is, that. is that a bag? Or is that a bag? The same thing. Two. Yeah. Mushtaq Ahmed Siddiqui. Next up, um, next winner, Mushtaq Ahmed Siddiqui, guys. Yes. Yeah. I remember Mushtaq. You were on stage twice. <laughs> Come on, guys. Big round applause for Mushtaq. Well done to oh, Mushtaq. Oh, oh, but, but, Mushtaq, you don't want your certificate? <laughs> you do, huh? Very good. Right. We have last two left, three left. Got it. Sarah Za Muzab Muzabar. Muzabar? Sarah. Sarah Za or XA Muzabar. Very nice name. Sarah Za Muzabar. Is that your daughter? My sister in law's daughter. Sister in law. Come on then. <laughs> Sarah Za Muzabar. Is that correct? No, Sadia. Her name is Sadia. Hold on. Her name is supposed to be Sadia Zamuzavar, not Sarah. Huh? This is you? Sadia Shah as well, mashallah. There you go. Give her a massive round of applause. Sadia Shah Muzavar, thank you. Well done, join the group. Who is that now? She's going to girls group, yeah? Muhammad Rehan. Muhammad Rehan? Who is Muhammad Rehan? Huh? Is that you? That's Rehan. This is Muhammad Rehan. Muhammad Rehan, R E H A N. No? Okay, no Muhammad Rehan. Okay, so next one is a pretty big one. It's the second position. So, second position we have Ismail Hussain. Who is Ismail Hussain? Over there. Come on, Ismail. You're looking Come on, so guys. Round was with Ismail Hussain, the second position. There's one second. Stay there. Your prize is coming. Voucher, voucher, we are in. Go and join them. I'll, I'll bring it to you, inshallah. Nah. waiting the final prize ladies and gentlemen for today first position at the Quran competition inshallah is going to be going to Muhammad Siraj Do Diallo Siraj Do Diallo give him a massive round of applause ladies and gentlemen well done to Muhammad come here Muhammad before I give you anything what did you recite today Suratul Munafiqun wow that's very good would you like to recite a few verse for us أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاءك المنافقون قالوا نشهد إنك لرسول الله والله يعلم إنك لرسوله والله يشهد إن المنافقين لكاذبون اتخذوا إيمانهم جنة فصدوا عن سبيل الله إنهم ساء ما كانوا يعملون 
ذَكَرِ أَنَّهُمْ آمَنُوا ثُمَّ كَفَرُوا ثُمَّ كَفَرُوا فَتُبِعَ عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ فَهُمْ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ Thank you very much. A massive round of applause from Muhammad Siraj Do Diallo. Thank you very much. He's yours. He gets the first prize today, mashallah. And he's from Unique Academy um, in Hounslow, mashallah. Mashallah. Well done to him. Okay, children, you can all go and join your families. Thank you very much. Wonderful job done. Alhamdulillah. Oh, it's me, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all this time we've been talking to and about our, our, our children. Now I want to talk to the parents. So those parents who want to listen to something useful, come to the front, inshallah. You can stay if you're seated. Those who are standing around, parents, come somewhere near here, inshallah. Come on, parents, don't be shy. Parents, if you want to hear something useful, come to the front, inshallah. If you are interested, and come and sit down at the front. I know children were, but even if you don't, I'm going to start. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have children. We all have children, alhamdulillah. Those of you who have come with your children, Allah bless them. There is a nice story from Ali ibn Abi Talib, radiallahu anhu, I want to share with you. This, the, it's not a story, actually, it's a lesson. He said, there are three stages that we have with our children, and we should make sure that we look after our children in those three age groups. Zero to seven years old, when your children are with you, as one group of children, one category of children. 7 to 14 is another category for your children. And 14 to uh, you die or they die until the end of life is the third category of your children. So there are three categories of children and you need to make sure when you're looking after your children, you divide them up into this gr these groups. First group, 0 to 14, is called age when they absorb everything. It's called age of information. You give children information from the age of zero to seven, they will remember it for the rest of their life. Whatever you teach them, they'll remember. Skills you teach them, they'll remember. Languages that they learn, they will remember. Behavior that you teach, they will remember. Anything that you teach your children from the age of zero to 14, it gets into their mind, into their bloodstream, into their habits. They will always remember. Most of the Quran that I recited and I memorized is between zero and 14 and seven. After that, it was hard work. But until seven is very easy. I remember my son when he was playing around and I was teaching my daughter. One day, I was teaching my daughter Surah al -Adaq, And I said to my daughter, please start. She said, okay, iqra. And my son from the other side of the room said, Bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. He's only one and a half. I looked at him, I said to him, you already know? He started laughing. I said, come here. He came. He recited the whole surah al-alaq from beginning to the end. At the age of one and a half, barely could speak. But with his baby language, he was able to regurgitate what he has heard his parents recite. He has heard me recite it, he has heard his sister recite it, and he remembers it. So, from the age of zero to seven, you give children all the information that you need to give them. Languages, so for example, in my case, we gave our children four languages from the day they, day they were born. They speak English, of course, Alhamdulillah. We taught them Arabic, we taught them the mother tongues of both of the parents, and Alhamdulillah, you listen to them, that's what they remember very well. We taught them how to be good, we taught them how to behave, we taught them how to eat, how to treat their, uh, their elders, their parents, etc. So, 0 to 7, information, information, information. 7 to 14, ladies and gentlemen, you give children rationale. Why should they pray? Why should they be good? Why should they be kind? Why should they go to school? Why should they wear clothes that are modest? Why should they not swear? Why should they not play with the phone? Why should they not be on the internet 24-7? Why should they not be on the games, etc, etc? It's called age of rationale. You give them reasons because they will ask you, why mommy, why daddy, why mommy, why daddy, until you are blue in your face. That's called age of rationale. Give your children more rationale so that they will remain on what you have taught them. They know the reason. 
So 7 to 14 is the age of rationale. Your son comes and says, Mommy, why do you pray? Don't just turn around and say, Allah said so. Of course Allah said so, that's true. But why? Why are you fasting, Mommy? Don't just say because Allah said so in the Quran. Give them more. Why do we have to eat halal? Give them more. Why do we have to be good with our language? Give them more. Give them reasons. Why do I have to be a good Muslim? Give them a reason. Everything has got reason. When you give them reason, they will remain with it because they will understand the reason, not just be a sheep and blind following. Islam doesn't encourage blind following. Islam encourages reason using your brain. Allah says in the Quran, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ So that you can use your brain, use your reason, use your rationale. The third is called age of friendship. From the age of 14 until you die or they die, become your children's best friend. Become their best friend or they become your best friend. What do I mean by best friend? Your children should be able to play with you. Should be able to talk to you anytime, any, anything they have in their mind. They should be able to trust you. They should be able to rely on you as a friend rather than the disciplinarian mother or father rather than the dictator father and dictator mother rather than the strict mom and strict dad give them the space to befriend you so that they come close to you they befriend you and they become part and parcel of your life i remember when I was, my daughter was growing up, she became, I think she became 14 or so. I said to her, before you, before I publish anything from today, on my, I write a lot, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know, I write essays. I would say to her, I want you to read my article and I want you to start editing them. She would say to me, Daddy, how am I going to edit your article? I don't even understand half of it. I would say to her, I don't want you to edit the language that I've written. I want you to edit any grammar mistakes that you notice from what you know slowly slowly she got to know my learning my, my, my writing she got to know my thought processes and I saw later on when she was doing her GCSE exam she was regurgitating and she was reinforcing the arguments that I had already written from her memory that she had read and articulated and edited and you know what she says to our friends you know my dad uses me to edit his work she feels very proud and you know I like that because she now connects with me at that level intellectually we go out together we play together we have fun together so children should be given three stages in life zero to seven age of information seven to fourteen age of rationale fourteen to you die or they die age of friendship that's how children should be brought up by the way this is the wisdom of Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib he's the one who said this zero to seven remember what is it zero to seven age of information seven to fourteen age of rationale and fourteen until you die or they die age of friendship please don't forget today i'm also going to ask you if you want to i bought my book on marriage for those of you who are married and those who are still thinking about getting married i've only got 25 or 30 copies of my book i'm selling them here of course so if you want to buy the copies inshallah come to the front i'm taking cash unfortunately we can do a bank transfer the book is available it's not sold on the in the market in the sense of any stalls i was supposed to have a stall in the middle but i couldn't make it on time so i have 30 copies left if you want come and take them but from me, inshallah, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay. Yes, of course, there is a child here called uh, Raya. You might as well do that. Child called Rayanuddin. Guys, can you please put your hands together for Sheikh Ajmal Masrur, guys? Give him a big round of applause. Come on. There you go. This is for you. I'm going to buy you a book, sir. Uh, Inshallah, you can. Is it for existing married people as well, sir? Can I? It's, it's for those who are not married, those who are married, and those who have gone beyond marriage. They should all read it because they will not make the same mistakes ever again. Like you did, yeah? Well, I know. It's for my life. <laughs> 20, 20 years of marriage now. 20 years, mashallah. All in, the, all in this book. Mashallah, I've been happily married for three years out of ten. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> three years out of ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is, is the uh, Charlotte Lotta still here? Charlotte, no, no. If she was here, she would uh, a, a problem strangle me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rayanuddin, is that you? Yeah. Come on, guys, big round applause for Rayanuddin. I think the kids have gone for uh, their ice cream. 
Lovely. Congratulations, okay. Rihanna Dean. Okay, the next shot is here. So we have now uh, the next uh, batch of kids. But guys, we'll come back in the next two to five minutes. And inshallah, we'll start uh, the Kira competition for the older lot. Thank you. Okay, guys, I have a very, very strangely interesting announcement. There's a lady, uh, excuse me, stick it up. There's a lady who bought these cups from these youngsters. I don't know if they're young enough to sell them. There's a lady who bought these. She paid for it, which is interesting, but she didn't collect them. That's, that's weird. Come on, guys. Give them a big round of applause. You know, that's how you should be. That's a halal dealing. Come on, guys. Al Wasila. Al Wasila. You make these cups, yeah? Huh? It's a char charity shop. And this lady. Missing from the set. Okay, uh, can you describe that lady as an auntie or a youngster? Auntie, you can't call ladies auntie. Is that you, madam? Did you buy Alvasila cups? <laughs> they call you aunt. Come on, guys, you found the lady as well. Please give a round of applause. <laughs> this looks like one of those Star Plus cereals. Ha, huh? mera cup. <laughs> thank you. Ha, uh, ji, bo shukriya. Thank you. Uh, okay, wow. Thank you for that awkward announcement. Yes. <laughs> okay, two minutes break, and inshallah, we'll be back with a few more contestants. Thank you.